In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on February 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on the these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Marquette vs. Butler Two notable squads in the Big East will go head-to-head -head when the Butler Bulldogs host the Marquette Golden Eagles on Tuesday in Hinkle Fieldhouse. Marquette has elevated itself to a top-10 ranked team in the country and is leading the Big East. They are 9-1 in their last 10 games. Meanwhile, Butler is sitting at 9th in the Big East and has gone 3-3 in their last 6 matches. Marquette is 4-1 against the spread in their last 5 road games and 5-1 against the spread in their last 6 games following an against the spread loss while the over is 8-2 in their last 10 games following an against the spread loss. Butler is 3-7 against the spread in their last 10 games against a team with a winning record and 2-5 against the spread in their last 7 games against a team with a winning percentage above .6 while the under 5-0 in their last five home games. Marquette defeated the Butler Bulldogs in their previous matchup, albeit only by eight points. Considering the spread is eight points again, I have confidence that Butler will do better at home on senior night as opposed to their previous matchup. Butler is 10-5 at home versus 3-8 on the road, proving that home court advantage is a factor for this team. Butler's defense has been able to shut down opponents to 70 points or less in their last seven games, including Marquette scoring only 60 points. Points. Butler can slow the game down with their pace to keep the deficit minimal throughout. Butler is also shooting at a better percentage from the line and is close to the same percentage from beyond the arc. I am assuming Bates will play in this contest, and I believe Butler can hold their opponent down to a single-digit win in this case. So the Butler Bulldogs to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Butler is poor offensively, netting 62 or fewer points in three straight games, and ranks 224th in the country in adjusted offensive efficiency. In addition, Marquette's 60 points against Butler was their lowest output in Big East play. As mentioned, Butler is outstanding in the defensive end. They have conceded an average of only 62 points in their last three clashes. This just has all the makings of a lower scoring game, even if Marquette's high scoring, fast paced style doesn't show it on the surface. At home when these two met last, it finished 60 to 52, well below the average for Marquette this season, and when you take them on the road, the scoring drops off big time. Butler, on the other hand, struggles to score home or away. The under has been the dominant trend. The under is to 8 to 0 in the Bulldogs' last eight games. I just don't see how this game gets into the 140s. I expect points to be at a premium here. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Clemson vs. Virginia The college basketball regular season is winding down, and March Madness is right around the corner. As we approach the home stretch, there are still plenty of great matchups left, including this one here in the Atlantic Coast Conference as the Virginia Cavaliers get ready to host the Clemson Tigers. Virginia is safely within the NCAA tournament field, but Clemson is on the bubble, so they really need this one. Clemson is 13-14 against the spread this season, with a 17-10 over-under record. Virginia is 10-14. 14 to 1 against the spread this year, with a 13 to 12 over under record. Virginia has looked awful in their last couple of games, losing to North Carolina and Boston College teams that had both been struggling right before knocking off the Cavaliers. Clemson needs this game like blood for their NCAA tournament prospects, and they've been showing out recently. They just beat NC State by 25 in their most recent game, right after pummeling Syracuse by 18. They have scored over 90 points in three of their last four games, and have a roster that's loaded with the experience as each of their top five scorers are juniors or seniors. He Tigers are a solid 3-1 in their last four games, and they've scored 71 or more points in six straight outings. As for Virginia, they've stumbled in the last pair with a combined 111 points in consecutive losses. The Cavaliers are still playing solid defense and should receive a boost from the John Paul Jones Arena surroundings. This Virginia team looks vulnerable, and Clemson has a real chance to hand them their third straight loss. I believe Clemson can stay in range in the end worst-case scenario 
scenario, these teams have identical records in conference play, and I view this one as pretty close to a toss-up. So getting this many free points is a steal. We should have a pretty good matchup on our hands regardless. So the Clemson Tigers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Virginia's defense is typically the talk of most of their matchups, serving to drive down the totals in their game, though this one is going to be higher scoring than expected. Virginia's defense is strong but their struggles defending the three-point line are going to leave them exposed to Clemson finding some success. Clemson will want this game played at a faster pace and with Virginia's recent struggles, they probably are open to that notion themselves. Additionally, for Clemson, the over is 6-0 in their last six games overall and is 6-1 in their last seven road games. For Virginia, the over is 4-1 in their last five games against a team with a winning percentage above .600. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Iowa vs. Indiana On Tuesday, the Iowa Hawkeyes go on the road to face off against the number 15 Indiana Hoosiers. They played earlier this season on January 5th when the Hawkeyes won 91-89. The Hoosiers have an 11-7 record in the Big Ten Conference, putting them two games back from the first seed with Iowa one game back from them at 10-8. The Hawkeyes are 0-4 against the spread in their last four road games and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Hoosiers are 5-1 against the spread in their last six home games and 3-10 against the spread in their last 13 Tuesday games. The over is 14-6 in Hawkeye's last 20 overall. The under is 5-0 in Hoosier's last five games following against the spread win. Indiana is coming off of a great road win against Purdue, but they have alternated wins and losses over their last five games. Iowa has lost two of their last three games, but made an improbable comeback to beat Michigan State in their last game. The Hoosiers are ranked better in effectiveness and efficiency on both sides of the ball, and they split on rebounding, with Iowa being better at crashing the glass and Indiana better at securing defensive boards. While the Hawkeyes have an advantage on turnovers, I don't believe it will be enough to offset the possession-by-possession possession advantage that the Hoosiers have. While the Iowa Hawkeyes are no pushover, they're just 3-7 against the spread on the road and this is a tough venue to play in. The Indiana Hoosiers win at home by an average of 18 points while shooting 52.4% from the field. Indiana is also 10-5 against the spread at home. Iowa has been a completely different team on the road this season and there is no way I can take them in this spot. If this game was in Iowa, it would be a different story. The line is reasonable, so the Indiana Hoosiers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. In this matchup, historically the total has gone over in 11 of the last 14 contests. Between Indiana and Iowa, the Hawkeyes are on a 14-6 run of the overhitting in their last 20 games. Both of these teams have more highly ranked offenses compared to their defenses, but that isn't the only influence on their great records with the over. They're also above average in their pace of play, with Iowa ranking 48th in Pomeroy's adjusted tempo out of 363 teams, putting them in the 90th percentile. Indiana isn't too far behind at 136, placing them in the 63rd percentile. A higher tempo essentially means that they average more possessions per game, which naturally results in more scoring opportunities. In the last three games they've played, the over has hit by an average margin of plus 15.7. When they played earlier this season, they scored a combined 180 points. Games between these two tend to end in fireworks. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.